The newest version of the Mac OS is System 7.5. Without the Macintosh, black and white desktop publishing of Cupertino, California would be hard pressed to meet its deadlines. The Mac is still the favorite of graphic artists, and the simplicity and uniformity of the interface has a lot to do with its popularity. The Mac's desktop has changed little over the years, but System 7.5 may change that. Well, the first thing you notice is the screen. <laughs> the nice little stuff that you can pick with the screen. And uh, from then on, you start playing around with stuff. Um, you know, like one thing that's the most used will be the, you know, dragging to the printer because that's, you know, a nice fast thing. You don't have to actually open it up. You can just drag it over to it, you know, so, because um, it takes time to open up programs. And then, um, and then dragging illustrations and text from one program to another. While the interface looks familiar, users will notice new features in System 7.5. The drag and drop capability allows you to copy a selection directly from one file to another simply by dragging it. And with 7.5's new printing architecture, you can print a document by dragging it onto a printer icon. Apple has also added refinements to some well-known screen metaphors. Windows can now be rolled up into window shades to conserve screen space. A new desktop item is the Sticky, a virtual reminder note in bright colors that can be placed in obvious spots around the screen. And if you still need help getting around the system, the new Apple Guide will do everything but hold your hand. You just go up into the little question mark area and then you just, it just opens up and you search through what your problem is by different categories. So, you know, if it's fonts or whatever. So you go into that area and it gives you another category so you can get more specific with what you're looking for. And then you click on that and it opens up and it tells you step by step, you know, you just click from page to page, it tells you what to do and then it highlights exactly where you're supposed to go. It's no secret that the Mac's GUI interface was years ahead of its time, but Apple knows it cannot sit still, especially with Windows 95 on the horizon. And experienced Mac users seem positive about the latest improvements. I'd say it's definitely in the right direction because, um, I mean, sometimes as users, we don't really know what are like system things and what are program things, right? You know, so as far as the system part goes, it's going in the right direction. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Giles Bateman.